everyone, back again with another video about Japan fantasy versus reality. This time it's about the safety of Japan, Japan being a safe country. Now, I don't necessarily have a lot of statistics of worldwide safety in terms of violent crimes of Japan for this one, but going by living here and uh, going by uh, news stories related to crime, Japan is absolutely not a safe haven. It may appear to be a safe place, but there's still a lot of bad, violent crimes that go on here. Now, you could say compared to other countries that violence goes on in, such as America or maybe some third world countries, Japan is safe. Yes, that is most likely true. From my personal experience living here, day to day, a lot of violence does not go on. Um, a lot of, you know, there's, there's not a lot of actual violence against regular people. But when it does happen, it tends to be extremely crazy and really fucked up, to be honest with you. So here are just some recent, uh, some recent news uh, stories that have happened just in, here in the past few days in Japan, okay? So last Thursday, there was a man who lived in uh, Omiya, which is in Saitama Prefecture, a little bit outside of Kyoto. Uh, sorry, a little bit outside of the Tokyo. He traveled to Kyoto and he set fire to an animation studio, Kyoto Animation Studio, because he felt that they um, stole some of his work and he ended up killing 34 people out of 70 that were in that building burning them alive or suffocating them through smoke or whatever. He is still alive, I believe, uh, suffering some burns. He just went absolutely mad, believing that they stole some of his work, and he set fire to the building, uh, doused it with gasoline, and I believe set the fire at the front entrance, which there was only one entrance. No fire escape, so really hard, really tragic crime there. And then just early this morning, the, uh, the early morning Sunday, in my home prefecture of Tochigi, in Tochigi City, there was a, uh, a shooting at a, at a local izakaya between some, uh, I believe some Yakuza gang members. Uh, they're part of a group, is what the news reporting was saying. Um, they got into a scuffle. One man pulled out a gun, shot the other one in the stomach. And that shooter, uh, as of right now, is still at large. So, now, Japan doesn't have a lot of guns, and not a lot of gun crime, but... So, uh, actually, gun crimes are quite rare here. Uh, but uh, shootings still occur. Still occur. And this, uh, th this last arson attack is one of the most deadly attacks that's happened here in the past few years. Uh, just, um, I believe, last month, there was a man who went to... He, he went to a bus stop in Tokyo, and he stabbed 12 elementary school girls because he had some sort of grudge against the, the school that they went to. Stabbed them. A mass stabbing. Okay? And just a few years ago, a, um, a worker at a, uh, at a mental facility got angry and stabbed and killed, I believe, 19 patients. Another mass stabbing. So, as you see, Japan has some really, really fucked up crimes that happen but it's not widely reported and it still 
shown to the world as this uh, bastion of safety and, and whatnot. Now, again, that is not to say that Japan is not a dangerous country. It is absolutely not a dangerous country. In fact, compared to a lot of other countries in the world, Japan is still considerably quite safe. Hmm. Actually, I'm, uh, just side note, this ale is pretty good. Just bought it. First time drinking it, so it's not bad. But this gets gets me onto um, a lot of a lot of the crime statistics in this country. Actually, focus more on non-violent crimes. So. People get arrested, just here in the past year, a big slew of um, musicians and sports stars have been arrested for bullshit drug offenses, minor, minor possession, you know, offenses, and these are the crimes that make headlines. When celebrities get in trouble for drugs or some sort of um, marital affair scandal or whatnot, that is what makes the headlines in this country. Japan very rarely, unless it's a huge, huge event, like this arson or the stabbings, Japan rarely, rarely reports on these, uh, these really fucked up violent crimes. So, you know, um, it's a matter of sort of sweeping it under the rug, you know? So, especially in, in terms of this, uh, the stabbings at this mental facility. So mental health is a large stigma. It's considered a big stigma in this country and it's sort of, if, a, if, if Japanese people have a mental illness, it sort of brings a sort of shame to their family. So these 19 innocent people that were stabbed at this mental health facility, none of their names were released for fear that they would bring shame upon the families. To me, those are the, the victims in this crime and the killer is the one that should not be named, right? In terms of the stabbings, all these recent stabbings, the, uh, the guy who set fire to the animation studio in Kyoto, all of these guys seem to have really, really messed up mental health issues. But it largely goes ignored in this country. So... Apparently the guy that set the fire to the, uh, to the animation studio was in prison for a short time because he robbed a convenience store, right? Not all people who rob convenience stores have mental issues. They may just be assholes, who knows? But anyway, this guy apparently had some mental issues because he was shouting, you die, you die, at all these people, and just the day before, it was reported that he had uh, attacked a neighbor at his apartment complex, pulling their hair and, and sh you know, punching them and whatnot, just because they came over to, com to tell him that he was mistaken for them making noise. So... You know, he, he obviously has some mental issues. He has a grudge against society. Whether it was because he served prison time and that just exacerbated his mental state or not, who knows. But the fact is he had some deep-seated issues with himself and society. And here it just largely go, go, gets swept under the rug, right? So... Also, in terms of uh, violent crimes, you know, like rapes and sexual assaults are quite common here. So, I don't have exact statistics, but a large number of women that I've talked to in this country have been groped on trains by perverts. That it is a that is a very very big problem in Japan is. Um, women being sexually assaulted on trains or whatnot. And yes, it is still a crime, it's still punished when they're caught, but it still, it still goes on and on and on. The problem is not going away. So, 
kidnappings happen, kids are killed, you know, so it's not the fact that Japan is a dangerous country, it is just not a safe, a hundred percent safe country. So that fantasy that everyone has is Japan is a safe haven and it's it's a, it's a very quiet, nice, calm country is simply just not true. It's not true. And while the rate of the crimes might be lower than other countries, the severity of the crimes are still, I would say, either on par or even more fucked up than a lot of other violent crimes. So, now, to the average citizen, an average tourist, you probably don't have too much to worry about in terms of your personal safety, unless you're wrong place, wrong time. Another thing you have to watch out for are old drivers that run people over. That's also been a recent um, happening that has caused quite a lot of injuries and deaths. And that issue especially does not seem to be going anywhere. It is uh, people who should not be driving, driving and uh, killing people. So that's it. That is this entry for fantasy versus reality. Japan is not the safe country everyone thinks it is, but at the same time, it is not a hellish shithole where everyone needs to watch their back. Just like everywhere else in the world, Japan has its problems and it has its good points as well. So, Keep that in mind next time you hear any sort of propaganda on either side, whether saying Japan is completely safe or you should be careful about your surroundings, whether you're a woman or a man. Okay? Just be aware of what goes on in Japan in terms of crimes and violent crimes. Alright guys, so if you like the video, thumbs up. If you think that I'm just talking out of my ass and didn't like it, thumbs down. Either way, I want to hear your opinions, so write a comment down below as well. And um, if you feel like you want to get a notification for all of my videos, just in case you don't quite get them, there is also a little uh, bell that I believe I'm pointing to the right place now on this video, yeah? Down there, hit that bell and you'll get notifications when I upload videos and go live with podcasts, okay? All right. So, thanks again for watching, see you guys for the next one.